Our tip of the week this week, we're just going to talk a little bit about how you can import in external objects into ARCHICAD because while ARCHICAD has a lot of objects and also you can create your own custom objects, sometimes you can go out and find objects on the web and bring those into ARCHICAD as well so you don't have to go through all the work of creating your own custom object. Now, before you ever do that, I highly recommend to try to find an object in ARCHICAD uh, that has, you know, um, parameters close to what you're trying to do because, you know, we do have a very wide uh, range of objects and parameters in every one of those objects. And most of the time when I look at an object, what its presets are, and these, these previews, it actually can be so many different permutations from that that it's worth looking at what's in the existing library and seeing if I can change that and get it close to what I need. But sometimes you can. So there are a variety of, of sources out there. Um, BIMcomponents.com, if you're not familiar with it, this is a, uh, a resource that was created by Graphisoft. It has a combination of uh, Graphisoft objects on it uh, that they had uh, that they put into it. It also has user objects that uh, many users around the world will upload to there, and I highly recommend that if you create custom objects, you know, share them with the, the users out there in the world. Um, it always helps. And there's also objects from uh, BIMobjects.com that are shared on here as well. So, you know, it's really worth kind of going in here and, and, and seeing what's available. You can actually search through BIMcomponents.com by just going to BIMcomponents.com or inside of your ARCHICAD uh, uh, dialog, there's uh, object settings dialog, you also have access to it through that portal. Now, outside of the Graphsoft community, we there are some other resources. Um, one that's really um, widely used is the 3D Warehouse by Trimble. Uh, this is a SketchUp format library of, uh, that, again, is kind of similar to BIMcomponents.com. It's created by users and manufacturer objects that are on there. And so you can go, you can search for a variety of objects that are available uh, from Kohler objects to, to Thermador to uh, um, ones that have been created by, by individual users. And then you can download those as a SketchUp object and then ARCHICAD will open and convert SketchUp objects into ARCHICAD native GDL objects. So that is a great way to uh, have access to a much uh, broader amount of objects beyond the ARCHICAD um, uh, library of objects or BIM component objects. There's also modular.com. This is a great resource as well. They've been around for a number of years. Uh, they focus on taking manufacturers who pay them to uh, create objects and then they make them available in a variety of formats. As you can see here in Revit, ARCHICAD, Bentley, Vectorworks, IFC, SketchUp, 2D, and some other 3D objects. So this is a really good resource as well. We have a lot of clients who will use uh, Modular um, uh, and to find products that they're using on um, their designs, download those and use those um, in, in their models. There's also BIMobjects.com. Now BIMobjects.com is uh, actually a great resource. They were created by a bunch of um, individuals who came out of Graphisoft and started this in Europe. Um, and they've grown tremendously over the last couple of years because they acquired the um, Autodesk Seek, I'm not sure if you're familiar with this, but Autodesk Seek library. This was a library that, that Autodesk created, kind of similar to BIMcomponents.com with Graphisoft, where they tried to get manufacturers in and, and they weren't quite keeping it up well enough or competing well enough with some of the other third party ones out there. Well, BIMobjects.com is the best one out there and they actually acquired that from, from Autodesk. And so that was really great because it kind of rose the, the uh, uh, objects now available for both Revit and ARCHICAD community. So because Revit, uh, because our ARCHICAD can now um, access Revit objects, that means that even the Autodesk seat manufacturers that Autodesk had are now available for ARCHICAD users because we can download those RFA files and bring those in. And if you have not actually used the RFA or RVT geometry, this is where you go for it. Uh, BIM6X is a company here in the States 
uh, that Grasshoff worked with to make this RFA and RVT geometry available to, to companies. And uh, so you can download it for free. Grasshoff actually developed this, and then it's just basically uh, sourced through BIM 6X. And there's also Model Port. Uh, this is a great add on because there's a lot of formats beyond uh, uh, Revit, SketchUp, and ARCHICAD that have been developed uh, for you know, furniture and uh, appliances and manufacturer objects, et cetera, out there. Um, and a lot of those are in uh, uh, Autodesk uh, Alias, um, OBJ, FBX, DAE, and 3DS formats. And so this has actually been a really nice add-on that's been available for a number of years. And um, it's actually, gee, we're getting ready very soon to release a new version of this uh, that should be available in the next, um, hopefully in the next month in February. And it's going to have um, the, uh, uh, it's completely redesigned <clears throat> and we'll now have a preview of objects uh, before you bring them into ARCHICAD. And this is really important because sometimes you <clears throat> get objects that you've downloaded from the web. You're not sure what those objects are <clears throat> until you open them. And sometimes it takes a while to open them to ARCHICAD and then you you're very big and very heavy. And so this gives you a lot more ability to uh, have a preview and parametric editor control, which will be new as well. So you can actually edit the individual components of an object as well uh, with material types, alpha channels, uh, floor plan uh, information, etc. And probably the most important is it will actually have the ability to control performance for these objects. So a lot of times these objects come from um, uh, uh, artists who have created them. And again, they can be very heavy in terms of the polygon count and the file size. So this has actually been redeveloped now so that we can act actually have a polygon um, uh, control inside of ARCHICAD now for these objects uh, through model port and also a new file type uh, for the objects that can actually reduce the file size of some of these objects, which can be very large. Um, down as much as um, eight to 10 times smaller. So this should be really helpful from a performance side as well. So that is our Learn Virtual um, uh, tip of the week. We'll go